Hello friends, today's a fun day. Oh, well first, welcome back to Student Sparrow Homestead. <laughs> My name is Kelsey. If you're new here, I'm excited today. I I'm going to share with you all my compiled footage of my potato harvests. And you all know how much I love potato harvesting. It's like a treasure hunt. It's one of my favorite things. It's so exciting to me and I am such a garden nerd, but it's just the truth. I brought in my husband this year and I got him to harvest with me. Usually I just do it myself because I love it so much and I want it all for myself. But I had a lot to do this year um, and he agrees it's a lot of fun to do. So I've been compiling it because I like to succession plant my potatoes. I planned for a big harvest and we have a small home. And if I were to plant everything at once and harvest all at once, I would be very overwhelmed with the amount of potatoes and trying to cure them all and preserve them and find space for them at one time. So I like to start planting early spring, usually late March, over the course of a few weeks, and then we'll start harvesting, usually the last week in June through the month of July. So let me give you some background as to like where we're located, how I'm growing, all that sort of stuff. So we are in Pennsylvania, south central-ish, thereabouts, and we are on like the border of zone 6A, 6B. Um, our first or no, our last frost in the spring is approximately May 10th, around there. And then our first frost in the fall is about the second week, I'm gonna say like October 15th. Approximately 160-ish days of growing time. We are situated on a quarter acre. We are in the country, but we live in town in the country. So you're gonna hear some background noise in this video, mainly the road. So I apologize, but it is what it is. This is my sixth year gardening. Um, over these six years, I feel like as a gardener, you are always growing and learning and trying to improve as a gardener. And I have been focusing heavily on soil health these last six years, um, adding organic matter, lots of compost. I really grow in straight compost. Um, I am a no-till gardener. I do not till up my garden. I believe in creating biodiversity in your soil, allowing little microorganisms and micro colonies to form. And I don't wanna disturb those things. I believe that really contributes to healthy soil. We also throw in all of our composted chicken manure. I'm a chop and drop gardener whenever I am pruning or harvesting any of the greens, as long as they're healthy, will get laid right back onto the soil to just decompose and give back its nutrients right into the dirt. Over the last six years, I have tried in-ground planting of potatoes, in raised beds, in grow bags. This year, I incorporated the Ruth Stout method, and at the end of the video, I will tell you, I mean, I might give some of these methods a few more goes before I have a solid answer, but I feel like I know what my answer is, and I'll tell you what my favorite method is thus far at the end of the video. One other thing to keep in mind, I did not water at all. I am a terrible, waterer in the garden. Now, this year was difficult rain-wise. Um, we had a six-week drought in the beginning of the season. I don't think it rained for the entire month of May, which was just crazy. Um, so we did have sprinklers running um, for an hour or two each night, really, um, for those six weeks. But after that, I didn't pick up a garden hose. You know, we just let the weather do its thing. Um, however, the rain has been really inconsistent this year. We would get torrential downpours of like two inches at a time over the course of an hour or two, and then it wouldn't rain for like a week, and it would just do that torrential downpour again, and then no rain for a week, and so on and so forth. Um, so very inconsistent watering happened, um, and I'm just really surprised with how many potatoes we got. Last year, I planted 27 pounds of potatoes and I harvested 150 pounds of potatoes. This year, so far, I've planted 35 pounds of potatoes. I have a second round planted now of another 10 pounds. And my goal this year was 250 pounds of potatoes to carry us through until next potato harvest season. So let's jump into the footage. And then at the end, I will tally it all up for you and we'll discuss it a little bit further. All right, friend, 
don't worry if you're here just for the potato harvest scene I'm not gonna be talking your ear off the whole time at the beginning though of each segment where we're harvesting from a certain location I just want to give you a little bit of background this was the first bed that I had planted late March I believe I planted only three pounds of potatoes in here this is a four by eight raised bed one thing I made note of in this bed these were all potatoes that I had saved from last year's harvest. I haven't been able to grow enough yet to have all of the seed potatoes I need. I do source them from actually my husband's place of work. Um, but since they were saved from last year, they had super, super long eyes. I'm talking like at least a foot. Um, and I laid them all horizontally. And I think that kind of contributed to how much I yield how much of a yield I got from this bed. Um, I think that because I laid those eyes horizontally under the soil surface, they just produced a ton of potatoes. Yeah, we're gonna there is like thousands of worms that were in there. Hey, look how many worms! Look at all of them! Here you go, Logan. Here you go. So that was the last piece of the rock. <gasps> that was a massive, massive centipede. That was a big centipede, Mom. Yeah. The biggest one in the world. Can you get the potatoes, Mom? In a second. Let me just finish harvesting here. Look at that isopod, Mom. There's an isopod. Oh. Mom, I want that isopod.
Now this was the second potato bed I had planted. I squeezed about three pounds worth of potatoes in this one as well, although it was smaller than the last. It's really only about three feet wide by six feet long. Look at the size of the tater. Tortoise, Brussels. What's tortoise, huh? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. And get the little itty bitty ones too. Like, I can still fry them up. They will actually sprout. Yeah, that means it got exposed to the sun. And we probably won't be able to eat much of that one. It's poison. Should I still put them in there? Um, yeah, go ahead. I'll sort through them. So what makes the sweet potato a sweet potato? Or is it just any old potato? Yeah, so at the grocery store, they're a lot of times sprayed with a sprout inhibitor. So it prevents them from sprouting. It makes them last longer on shelves. Um, so as long as they haven't been sprayed, you can grow a potato from a potato. Yeah, that means it got too much water at one time. Well, just kind of blow it out. And salvage some of it. Really, I could have left these in the ground a bit longer so that those smaller ones in there would get bigger. But I need this space. What'd you say? We won't have time for a second. Right, we won't have round. time for a second. And the small ones are like good for just fresh eating anyways. And this one was kind of a modified Ruth Stout. I did bury these beneath some compost and then I covered with some straw. I didn't hill them or anything. After I laid the straw on, I let them go. Did she get him again? Mm -hmm. sure. This is the third area and third planting of potatoes that I had done. This was one four by eight bed, and then I had four extra seed potatoes that I planted in the bed to the left of these. So one four by eight space and just four potatoes in another bed. Now in this space here, I planted a total of nine pounds of seed potatoes. These were all superior white and those seed potatoes were a bit larger, hence why there was quite a bit more pound-wise planted here than in the other spaces. All raised bed planting. I usually dig a hole about four to six inches deep, place the potato down, cover it, and pretty much do nothing until harvest.
tiny one. Okay. This ground over here is so compacted. Holy cow. But how compacted the ground is here, there's a lot of potatoes in this one. Oh, we 
There's a worm. That's a big daddy ghost worm. Look at that. Right there. There. This one's swallowing like a snake. Is this a good one? All right, this is the last space we are harvesting from. This plot last year I used to grow potatoes in ground. This year I transformed it into a Ruth Stout bed. So the method here, I did create some rows of compost. I laid my seed potatoes directly on top of the soil. I didn't bury them at all. And I placed a really thick layer of straw on top. I did hill it once throughout the course of them growing just to make sure nothing was getting exposed to the sun, but that is all I did in this space. This space was kind of oddly shaped. Um, the one end was much more narrow than the opposite, so it was probably like 15 feet by 15 feet at its widest point, maybe 15 feet by eight feet at the most narrow point. And there were six rows in total. I planted 20 pounds of seed potatoes here. These, I'm fairly certain, were all superior white.
get into with your hands. Yeah, there's they don't go deep at all. They're just on the surface. And then I'm just pulling the straw like into the center of the two rows. Just throwing them over there. Alright, we'll go pile them up all in one. Just the lower just go through. Do you want them even if they Yep. There's some up here. Sorry, I wasn't paying that close attention. Is this all the taters in? Yeah, well, I have two more new beds in, but all that we had to dig up for a little while. smaller.
right, so we're gonna tally it all up from the 35 pounds that I planted this spring. We harvested, according to the scale, about 202 pounds of potatoes. Now, I had been harvesting some here and there, probably another 10 pounds worth, um, but subtracting the weight of the buckets that we were using, I'm just gonna say we've harvested 200 pounds of potatoes. Now my goal was 250 pounds. I did plant a second round of potatoes, two more um, four by eight beds. So I'm confident that we will get at least 50 pounds combined from those two beds. If not more, it'd be great if we got more. So I said earlier, I'd tell you my favorite method of growing potatoes that I've discovered thus far. Um, I won't ever plant in grow bags again. I did that for three years and I had a horrible yield. Um, couldn't really figure out why. It was using really high quality soil, pretty consistent watering. I just never had really great results there. So I won't do that again. In ground did well last year. Um, I didn't really have any issues with that, but I only have so much space and I wanted to try out the Ruth Stout gardening. So that's what I did this year in the space I had done in ground in before. So that area had been established. Um, the Ruth Stout method though, I just found even if I hilled it up with more straw, it did not yield as much as my raised beds did. Um, and all of the soil in each of those spaces has, um, really had time to establish. Um, and I think they're all pretty healthy. So... I'm not really sure what went on there. The only positive I really liked was the potatoes were easy to harvest and they came out pretty clean, which is really nice not having to dust off all of the dirt. Um, but I just found that my yield was lower. Now, could that have been from the tree shading that one area a bit? Maybe. And I could give it another shot next year in a different location and see. Um, it's just I've had such great results with raised bed gardening of potatoes um, that, you know, I feel like sticking to it. I know it. I know it works well for me. Um, I really enjoy harvesting from them. I don't find it hard at all, and I think it's because of how hard I've worked on the soil. It's pretty loose. It's really nutrient dense. Um, it's loamy, so it's not really hard to dig the potatoes out of. Um, except for that one little corner I planted in where I had my rhubarb plants. Um, that was a newer bed. Um, we just put that in last year and the ground there still needs some work on it. So that was still pretty compacted and clay heavy. So for planting 35 pounds of potatoes, not doing much work at all with them. I, besides the initial planting, I didn't really water. Um, and I didn't spray them with anything. I'm an organic gardener. I didn't fertilize. I just put them in the ground um, and let them go. And I got 200 pounds of potatoes, which is pretty awesome. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with me. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me in the garden, harvesting some potatoes. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down in the comments. I will be happy to help. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed. We're gonna be preserving a whole bunch of these potatoes in various ways in the coming videos. It might not be right away because I still have a lot of things coming in from the garden that are a bit more perishable that I need to tend to first, but soon we'll be doing a lot of potato preserving. Thanks again for hanging out. Have a blessed day and I'll see you next time. Take care.